Hello YouTube, I'm here again with another video. This video is one of the best and finest videos I think you are going to like. It's all about cars, join me let's explore this amazing car I'm about to show you guys. So you know I don't do car reviews alone, I'm doing this with my brother Desmo Mill. So over to him. So guys, today we'll be doing a video on the 2021 Tata Nexon XM variant. So let me tell you, Tata is actually one of India's favorite compact SUVs because this car has actually constantly scored the five-star rating of the Global Income. So today we're going to go inside there, check out the new features that Tata has actually added on to this new model. So guys, stay tuned and let's go for the B-roll. The 2021 Tata Nexon gets a new grille, a sleeker headlight, as well as a new bumper, which has C-shaped serons, neatly boxing in the lower light cluster. It has a new integrated bull bar and a fox cuff plate that makes it look even more SUV-like. The tri-arrow pattern in the lower air intake is an interesting detail and looks quite good, but is it a bit too Mercedes? <laughs> Interestingly, unlike other facelifts that are limited to the bumper, the lights and the grille, Tata has also given the Nexon a new bonnet, which looks quite good. The 2021 Tata Nexon also gets a back end seatless to make it look less coupe like. The word Nexon is now written across the rear in chrome, and the Union Jack tail lights are an interesting design detail too. Also, in an effort to make it look wider, the Nexon facelift gets a fork then to the bottom of the rear bumper. Now, the 2021 Nexon's cabin is more familiar with that of the 2020. The design of the sordid looking dash with a free aftermarket standing screen at the center is carried over and with a neatly executed chrome line vents, which also works too. Now, the neat glove box release button that's sunk in into the dash is quite cool. Now, the sporty flat bottom steering wheel, which is new, and that tri arrow pattern is also featured on the dash and the instrument cluster is now a digital LCD panel similar to what you get in the Tiago and the Tigo. The oversized drive knob, I mean, it's 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 so huge. I mean, they, they took this concept from the Hexa and um, it has taken, you know, that space for the cup holder. And with no traditional cup holders and no flat surfaces large enough, there are really no um, spaces to put your phone. Now open the sliding shuttered storage area and the insides are still unclad and full of joints and sharp edges. Also the shallow door pocket with only inclined bottle holders can prove to be an ergonomic issue. But then the umbrella holders and the doors are quite a nice touch. The Nuxen has always been a comfortable SUV to sit in, due in part of the space efficient design and wide roomy cabin. Up front the seats are placed at a good height. They are wide and there is a fair amount of space in the driver's foothold. So let me tell you, this car is actually a 1.2 litre diesel engine that actually has a 6 speed manual transmission which is actually good for this car especially with regards to its size, I mean it's going to you know, put out a very good performance. So we have our 6 speed manual gear lever here, it's very good. So guys, um, we're taking it for a spin. Uh, with regards to this this particular variant, um, if you compare this with the previous one, this actually has no difference. There, there isn't much difference between this and the previous um, model. It still lags after you change the gears. Mode. 
since I'm saving a lot of fuel, so um, we'll have to drive uh, very well. Uh, the stabilization is very good. Now with the full 110 PS and 260 NM at its disposal, uh, the sports mode is for the people who would like to have an immersive driving experience. You could feel the shiver of the engine when shifting from the Eco or City to Sport as the suspension feels more stiffened and the steering becomes more focused.